Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dre Marie. Um, so today I am going to be doing, and I know I've been doing short sets, but why the hell not? Okay. So today I'm gonna be doing this a short French tip a set. When I say it's short, baby, it's short, like real short. Um, and I've said this before in my videos, short nails was something that I never used to like doing, but now that I've been doing them so often, I'm actually really starting to like them. And when it gets to the French tip part, y'all please don't beat me up, don't don't curse me out, don't come for me. But only two of her fingers was in frame. Um, I have a habit, y'all. I'm very blind. So when I get to doing like any type of nail art or anything like that, I literally have their fingers up to my face like this. Because when you're doing French, baby, you got to focus. And my focus be all over the place. So I got to have her hand up to my face. Um. So yeah, y'all. Oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all what that happened. Okay, but before I tell y'all... um. I had already went ahead and applied her nail tips. These are the Macar half cover nail tips in the natural color. Um, I already shaped them, prepped the nail, dehydrated. I used my model one dehydrated and then I went in with my not with my not polished triple X bond primer. And then I went in with a small clear B on her natural nails. And I am using the not polished clear today. And for this new acrylic, it's Everyday New by Two Cute Nail Supplies. Um, and if you do shop at them and you're interested in saving some money, which, um, hello, we all want to save some some money, okay? I do have a code with them. Um, it's Dramery Nails. If you are interested, I'm not, you know, telling y'all y'all got to use my code, but it will help me out a lot. But anyways, y'all, let me tell y'all. So, I did post this on my community tab. And I usually don't let stuff bother me because it really did not bother me. It's just so funny to me. Like, people have been coming under my stuff. Like, and I don't even know if these are real accounts or whatever the case may be. But, people have been coming under my stuff. Like, leaving bad comments. And, you know, I'm not tripping over that because not everybody gonna like you. And, baby, I was not put on this earth to please not a mother not not a damn soul okay i was put on this earth to please uh, myself and to make my kids happy so you know i knew that once i started this youtube thing everybody was gonna have their own opinions on me this that and a third and that's okay but baby do not come under my page under my comments with that bullshit because one thing about it and two things for sure sometimes i don't entertain it but baby just know you not scaring nothing you not stopping shit so this little girl however old she was with her tiktok dancing ass gone you know like hey under my stuff so i'm like baby like go sit down somewhere go do your homework go find your mama baby but baby play with your mama don't play with me okay and then on instagram some somebody replied to my story and it was just so crazy because they do not follow me they do not follow me at all so why are you on my page lurking trolling doing all of this baby you don't follow me so please tell me what was your purpose she gonna dm me talking about some what did she say go stick them i i don't know what it what, what she said but it was some racist stuff because if y'all know i'm i'm korean and i'm jamaican okay my mama korean my daddy jamaican i was raised in jamaica so anyways y'all she gonna talk about some eat rice go eat rice or like stick to making rice i guess she's trying to say like i don't do good nails so i should stick to just making some fried rice or something like that like be for real baby we in 2023 like i get it like when I was in middle school, people used to do that shit all the time. It was cute back then. It was y'all might think it was it was funny back then. The whole shrimp fried rice shit. But baby, it's 2023 now. Like, be so for real. Like, I done heard that so much in middle school. Like, I never used to get bullied. Trust. Trust and believe. I never used to get bullied. It was just people used to think that shit was funny, you know, like, oh, shrimp fried rice. Can I get some fried rice? Type shit. But now it's, it's 2023 baby you telling me to go make some rice 
gladly because i sure will fuck up some fried rice but baby be so for real like if you don't follow me if you're not a supporter what's the point of taking this time out of your day to sit here and comment this under somebody content you get what i'm saying like at the end of the day you still giving me that view you still contributing to my success in a way you get what i'm saying so shit like that it's just so crazy to me because and it's not even just that bro it be grown ass women like it like the the little girl yeah she was a little ass jit but most of the times it be grown women and it be these yt women at that like y'all know what yt stand for i don't gotta say it out because i don't want nobody to think i'm racist because i'm not but it's just so crazy like it really be them type of, like old middle age pushing 50 pushing 60 under my stuff like like come on now like at your big age you should not be doing all of that okay at your big age you should be freaking reading a book you feel me like don't worry about me go do your little crossword puzzles go do your sudoku puzzles but why is you worried about me if you don't like my stuff then okay everybody's entitled to their own opinion everybody likes what they like but you're not gonna stop shit i'm still gonna do me and i'm still gonna do what the fuck i want to do and that's on period i'm so fucking ghetto i'm trying to change i'm really trying to change but it's like <sighs> I'm really trying to change y'all, but people really be stressing me the fuck out. And I here I am telling myself I'm going to stop cursing, but this is just so freaking crazy to me. Like, if you do not like, because I know for sure it's been plenty of people that I've seen on YouTube. Well, I'm not even going to say plenty of people because I'm not, I'm not no hating ass bitch. But it's been some people that I've seen on YouTube that it's just not my cup of tea. That don't mean I go under their stuff and be like, oh. I don't like you no i just don't watch their stuff i don't follow them i don't you get what i'm saying like everybody likes what they like okay but that don't mean go under their stuff and do all it is and comment all it is because it's like what's the point like you're still watching my videos you're still commenting on my stuff you're still you get what I'm saying? Giving me that watch time. So at the end of the day, y'all keep y'all. If y'all got y'all y'all grandma and mama never told y'all if y'all got nothing nice to say, don't say shit at all. No. Well, I'm telling you now. If you don't got shit nice to say, baby, keep it to your motherfucking self. Because you never know. One day you might be the one I make an example out of, baby, and I'm gonna reach you from top to motherfucking bottom, baby. I'm gonna hurt your feelings real bad. So I really suggest y'all if y'all got not, nothing not to say, especially when it comes to my channel, keep it to yourself because I'm not the one. I'm really not the one. Y'all don't wanna know how crazy I am, baby. I'll show you crazy. Yeah, I'll show you crazy. And if I could jump through this computer screen, as, as some of y'all trust and believe, I most definitely would. And I'll one two. Boop boop boop. <laughs> yeah. Y'all like that little song playing in the background? I like that song. When I be searching for my music on the YouTube music thingy, I was like, it be taking me a while to find a song. And then I heard this, though. I'm like, okay, there's some stuff you burn your little stage to and you relax and smoke your little joint. Like, I was vibing to it, no cap. But anyways, y'all, with that being said, I just want to thank the people who show me love, like, y'all really do be showing out under my comments like i really do love y'all like and it, and it's so many of y'all and it's so 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 crazy to me like people that's been rocking with me from i first started this youtube thing and it's going on like it's in a couple months it'll be a year since i started posting the videos and i literally see all the same people that's been with me since i first started 
and I just wish I can just y'all know I fuck with y'all y'all know yeah I already know what the fuck going on I'm so ghetto anyways y'all know I love y'all and I'm so appreciative and I'm so grateful for the ones that actually watch my stuff and interact with me in the comments who are just amazing always have positive feedback um y'all some real ones okay y'all really some real ones because y'all really rocking with me like i really do appreciate that and i thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart like i don't think y'all understand how much how much it means to me knowing that i have this little family on youtube that because y'all know y'all know i don't got friends and i don't have friends by choice because all the friends that I've had in the past showed me why I need to rock alone and why I need to not have friends because they people are just not genuine nowadays and that's that's real sad like I doubt there is any genuine friendships left especially in my generation like people always have a second agenda people are not genuine people always looking for something out of you like I don't like that like I don't like that and I'm the type of person like if I call you my friend and you ever need anything or nothing like that I'm not gonna hesitate to help you and I'm not the type of person to throw that shit back in your face like oh you remember when this that and the, remember when that happened and I helped you so you gotta do this for me I'm not that type of person but it's like when you do something for somebody out the kindness of your heart when you do something for somebody out the kindness of your heart just please don't think that they'll do that same shit for you just do it and keep it pushing because at the end of the day when it come down to it when you on your ass and you down bad ain't nobody gonna be there for you and i done learned that shit the hard way it's been plenty of people that i done stuck my neck out for y'all i done lost a job over a bitch one time trying to help her like that shit was crazy like Okay, let me tell y'all. Adrian, mind you kick Riley in the head. Um, let me tell y'all. So, I had this job one time. I'm not going to say where I had the job at. But, my friend. Ooh, shit. Not my friend. She, I thought she was my friend. She needed a job. Um, well, she really needed some money. But, from past experience, I stopped doing that. Because people started to take advantage of it. And started to get too comfortable. So I'm like, okay, I'll get you a job. I'm talking about I vouched for her to get this job. I was telling them how much she's a hard worker and how they're not going to be disappointed. Why the first week this bitch started stealing cash out the motherfucking tip drawer? You can't help everybody. Yes, yeah, she started stealing cash out the freaking tip jar. And y'all, I got in trouble for that shit. Yes, they said, what did they say I was? They, an accessory or, what did they call me? They said I was something. I guess maybe because I got her the job or I, they thought that, you know, I had something to do with it too. But yeah, you just can't help everybody. Um, Just help yourself. Just help yourself, y'all. I'm too young to have so many stories like this like this shit is crazy i'm only 24 years old and the amount of stories i got it's just so y'all wouldn't believe y'all y'all probably think i'm lying half of the shit that i done been through and half of the shit i done experienced y'all probably think i'm a storyteller but thou shall not lie y'all i done been through some crazy mess some crazy 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 mess and it's so much i want to tell y'all but i don't want to relive the past i just want to tell y'all the good things in my life it's not a lot of good things i honestly feel like my kids are the only my kids the only good things that that didn't happen in my life so far um even though they drive me crazy i love these two little gremlins to death like they do make me happy but y'all ever feel like it's something missing like you could be happy but you still feel like something is missing you just don't know what it is but my missing piece about to get filled real soon i want to tell y'all so freaking bad oh my gosh y'all want to tell y'all so bad it's crazy like my palms is itching my eyebrows is itching that's how bad i want to tell y'all 
but I just want my blessings to come to me. I'm not trying to, you know, speak too soon and then boom, a motherfucker done go and put put voodoo on me and, and fucking no, okay? So I just want to take things slow and, you know, I just want all my blessings. I want my cup to overflow as it should. Because y'all, I've been praying. I've been praying so much. I've been praying day in and day out. Like, y'all don't know how much I pray. Manifest. Like, I'm really like, I want this bad. Like, y'all, I am hungry. Like, I'm trying to get this money. Okay? I'm trying to get this money because I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I'm tired of, um, you know, not being able to do what I want to do just because bills, bills, bills. And after you pay your bills, you don't got no money to do. You feel what I'm saying? I do not like that. Like, I'm tired of being... I wouldn't even call myself motherfucking middle class, bitch. I'm trying to be with the upper class people. I'm trying to go have a membership at a goddamn country club like how you see in tv no i'm not i'm not gonna be that snobby but that's just an example like i'm trying to live like that okay i'm trying to buy some land and build my house from scratch so y'all i have big plans and i want to share it with y'all but i know i know y'all happy for me and i know y'all gonna be so happy for me and i know y'all gonna support me because you guys are amazing and I don't know, y'all. I just have really, really good feeling about this. And I just know, even if things don't happen overnight, I just know for a fact that God gon' God gonna pull me through it. He's going to. He's going to. I know he is. <laughs> I know he is. And that's what makes this even more exciting for me because I just know that this is something that I'm not going to feel at and I'm I'm manifesting it like I'm going to be successful and if you are wondering this is I believe a brush from nail supply glamour and it's been a while since I bought from them, to be honest. Um, I think when I first started buying my nail supplies, it was Nail Supply Glamour and Dynamic Nail Supplies that had me in a, in a chokehold. Like, I was spending my money with them faithfully. But once y'all start actually, like, doing nails and you're going to find products that you like and products that you... Like, don't get me wrong, I really do like Dynamic, but I feel like the reason why I fell in love with Dynamic so much is because it was affordable. Um, I'm not saying their acrylics aren't good, but once you start to actually, like, shop and actually buy stuff, you're going to notice a huge difference in product. Like, for example, I started my Nothing But Young Nails acrylic. I just made an order when they had their 30% off sale. Just because you start to notice, like, um... I don't know and I, I don't know if I'm the only one but it's like when I first started buying dynamic nail supplies and I'm not talking bad about the company at all because I still plan on buying products from them um it's just that I've noticed like now that I've used like these really high damn I'm not gonna say that because it's gonna make it sound like I'm shitting on dynamic um but i'm just gonna keep it real with y'all once i started using like young nails i still haven't tried valentino but i hear really good things about them i hear that they're really good just as good as young nails and not polished but young nails has really amazing cover it's like i tried to use a dynamic powder the other day and it was just like getting stuck in my brush and it was like kind of chalky i guess like it just wasn't dragging down the nail how like young nails and not polished i don't know and i never noticed that when i first started using dynamic just because i never knew what like really good powders were supposed to be like until i started actually using these good products like you know like young nails and too cute too cute nail supply 876 nails also have really good powders like i really like them but for my cover powders um, I've been buying like young nails when they had their 30% off sale. I bought 
the cover flamingo and cover pink um those are really good colors but yeah you guys and i'm getting so much better with my application i'm not gonna lie y'all i barely barely do nails anymore like barely just because i have so much going on and i have big things that i'm in the process of working on like it's so much so much that i'm doing right now i'm i'm back in school now i take classes online so that takes up a lot of my time as well and then i'm working on oh shit i almost said it and then i'm working on what i'm working on so when it comes to making content i really have time for that but i'm gonna make time um luckily i still do have a few videos that i have not edited and uploaded on youtube yet so that's kind of a good thing when i say um just make sure you have backup content for times where you don't have time to record anything new you still have something that you could put out there so that's a good thing like when i tell you when i first started youtube i used to do like three videos a day like i used to make a video every single day and i wish i can get back to doing that hopefully i can but i used to literally upload a video every day and now it's like every week i upload a video or every other week and i don't like that because i don't want y'all to like start like forgetting about me just because i'm not as consistent as i used to be but trust me when i tell y'all i'm gonna get back to that i'm definitely gonna get back to that Baby, you give me ice and fire. Yeah, that that song is. I like that song. I like that song. <laughs> yeah, but um, this video is long. It's like an hour long. But also, I just wanted to pop in and say I did not encapsulate these nails with clear. I used to encapsulate every set that I do, but when i use my cover powders i do not encapsulate anymore not only does it save me a lot of time not only does it save me a lot of time but i don't know it's something about especially when i do french nails it just makes it look better for some reason and because these are short i didn't want them to and come out a little too bulky and then i have to go and do all that filing so i just avoid encapsulating cover powders now especially on short nails because y'all know when y'all do French tip, it's most likely you're using a cover powder as the base. So yeah, since this video is a little longer, I know y'all probably don't want to hear me talk throughout the whole thing. Even though, and y'all see, I stopped speeding up my videos because y'all told me that y'all like the longer videos and y'all like to hear me talk. So I stopped doing that. See y'all, I listen. I listen yeah so this brush i actually need to place a order with um kira sky for a new brush i just bought a savvy land brush off amazon but i have yet to use it and it's kind of on the small side so i want a larger brush because if y'all know i started out using a size 8 brush i use like a size 8 and a size 10 now I don't own any other sizes but that i do have some size 12s from nail supply glamour but they're more like a size 8 nail supply glamour brushes run really small but i really want to um size up my brush and just stop using size 8 completely so i probably upgrade to like a 12 14. i'm scared of the 14 that shit probably big do y'all know lovely mimi that do the nails i think she's vietnamese i believe but she does really nice nails i think she said in one of her videos that she used like a size 22 brush can y'all imagine bitch that's like a paintbrush like 
I cannot imagine, but she's been doing nails so long, she can do that shit with her eyes closed in her sleep. I'm trying to get like her, y'all. But anyways, now I'm going to go with my 5-in-1 drill bit, y'all, and I'm going to seal the cuticles. There's not really much filing that needs to be done. I know the nails look kind of messed up right now, especially that middle finger right there. But um, that's why I love the shaping because it just be looking so nice and crisp, especially when you go in with your hand file and just crisp that shape up, especially with short, square nails. They just look so nice and clean. I love the look that it gives. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing to all 10 of her fingers. I'm just going to go around her cuticles, steal the cuticles, and then go under the nail with this drill bit. And immediately after, I am going to go with my um, nail file. And I do use a 100-180 grit nail file. I just made a huge purchase of Amazon products and I bought a 50 pack of 80-80 files. But I want to use all of the 100-180 nail files that I have. And I probably have at least like 40 left. Because I did have a 50 pack of that as well. So, yeah. And then I don't show in this video because I was out of frame for the most of it. Oh wait, I think I showed one hand. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to buff her nails using a mini buffer. When I do short nails, I like to use the mini buffers. Just because I throw them away after each client, I don't want to waste like the really big one when I use those on longer nails, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to jump back in and talk to you guys some more when I get to the filing part. Some kind of butterfly.
My love, so now I'm going to be using that dreaded 180 grit nail file that I told you about a little while ago, and I'm gonna begin to crisp these nails up. So I like to file the sides, like hold the nail file straight to the side and file it 
and then I go take the nail file while still filing the sides I go underneath it and come up on I don't know how to explain it but y'all can see in the video very well and then I hold the file straight and I file the free edge of the nail just to make sure it's nice and straight nice and even and then after I do that I like to turn her hands as if I was her looking at her hands basically from her perspective and I file like that so I just flip her hands around just to make sure that her nails are nice and straight and nice and even and then I just go in and I also take my hand file and I rough up basically the surface of the nails to make sure that there's like no indents or there's like no divots or anything like that in her nails just to make sure everything is 100% even before I go in and buff her nails out some kind of butterfly these nails are coming out these nails came out really nice really 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 nice and i'm really proud of myself for how these nails turned out i think i did an amazing job they weren't perfect um but i do think these nails came out very lovely i added some cherry charms that i got off sheen of course and it just because um she wanted some what did she want on the nails i think some hearts or something but i'm like girl we out of valentine's day but if you want it i'll do it for you but i'll just put a charm on the nail and she actually liked it a lot better than what she originally wanted um, see, I like clients like that. Clients that you could improvise with. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, clients that don't get mad at you for your, you know, your ideas and they take it into account and just, you know, y'all, this thumb is so nice. Look at that. Like, this, is right this thumb is so cute. Like, it just came out perfect to me. The shape is just so nice and perfect. And when I do file the surface of the nails, if I do it until the entire nail is white. So if you're doing this and you notice like there's a spot that has no scratch on scratches on it, that just means that the nail is not even and there's like a dip right there. So you need to baby continue filing it until the whole entire nail is white. Um not everyone does this, but I like to do it just because I want to make sure that um look at y'all see that yeah don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it come on baby don't play with it <laughs> Yo, my man was passing the room and he just told me to shut my ass up <laughs> just cause I'm in here talking about something don't play with it don't. I'm screaming he is funny he is funny as hell that just oh my gosh that was funny that was funny. I'll be so embarrassed for that. See, this is why I like to do my voiceovers when I'm alone because he be making fun of me. He be making fun of me. That's why I like to do it. I thought he went to work. <laughs> Y'all, he is so mean to me. the step right here that I was talking about when I said I flip her hand around just to make sure that all her nails are nice and even um so when it comes to the um filing I'm just gonna do the same exact thing to the other hand so I am gonna speed this part up just no actually I'm gonna leave it in real time um because y'all like the longer videos and it gives me a chance to talk some more like y'all need to hear me talk some more but I'm gonna talk anyways so the same exact thing that I did to the other hand, I'm going to do it exactly the same on this hand.
you, baby. So I stand up at speed. See that? I know y'all see that. That looks so nice. Oh my god. You see the power of filing, y'all? So when y'all get to filing these nails and reshaping nails, please do not rush this step. Do not rush this step. Take your time because look at this. And this set probably took me maybe like an hour and a half. The thing that took the longest was doing them damn French tips. French tips are so hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie, some fingers be so easy. Like, some fingers when it comes to French come out easy and then you get on the next finger and it's like you on that finger for about 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Like, it just takes so, so long. But when you're reshaping, please do not rush. Like, take your time and do it right. Please do it right. And, you know, just just don't rush. Don't rush. You're some kind of butterfly. I love, I've been getting this a lot lately and sorry if I'm talking too much but a lot of y'all have been telling me that y'all see my progress and it's like sis tell me more tell me more boost my head up I need to hear this because if y'all go back to when I first started making videos and watch like my first few videos y'all will see a huge improvement and I'm not doing this to like be boasty or anything or to like you know boost my own ego but it's like the truth like practice and let me tell y'all this practice do not make perfect practice do not make perfect it makes improvement and um i've been practicing okay and i'm definitely improving a lot and i'm far from perfect nobody is perfect nobody it's always something new you can learn it don't matter how long you've been doing nails how long you've been doing here how long you've been doing this or that it's always something new that you can learn a new technique a new you feel what i'm saying like there's always room to learn stop throwing stuff across the room because anyhow you wake riley i'm gonna be very upset adrian what time is this y'all just got off work and these kids was up mad early for what reason i don't know but Riley, she's she's sleeping like a little angel. And Adrian, he's up. Because, of course, he got to watch me like he my bodyguard. But I bullshit y'all not as soon as I close this tablet. Because I'm currently editing on my iPad because I'm laying down in the bed. And the laptop, I got to sit up to use that. And I don't got time for that. So I'm editing on my iPad. But I promise y'all, as soon as I start uploading this video because it's gonna take about two hours to upload and then another hour and a half to process so i'm gonna be asleep and as soon as i upload start the process to upload this on youtube i promise y'all adrian is going to fall asleep he just knows then he want to watch me and riley will be awake too but the only reason she sleep right now is because she done ate some eggs she done had some her, her nice big breakfast and nigga right is to knock her little ass out look at her y'all know they in a deep sleep when that pacifier fall like their mouth and it's about time for her to lose the pacifier anyways but yeah y'all um i'm gonna come back to y'all when i start doing a french tip but we are closing in on the end of this video but i'm still gonna pop back in and talk to y'all because why the hell not like y'all my only friends but i don't want really to miss you baby
at this point y'all she was feeling her nails i know she was feeling them because she started doing all this extra shit y'all know when y'all like that y'all know when y'all get y'all nails done and y'all like it it's the shape it's the shape for me like look how nice and clean these are like sis was really feeling her nails and i was so happy i was happy for her okay girl you go girl but i'm gonna start with my french test and i am using this polish from dynamic they really they have really nice pigmented um gel polishes i give them that they have really bomb um gel polishes so i'm going to start and i'm going to be hey y'all look at this this is why you don't when it comes to nail products please invest please invest in the 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 good stuff because this i probably pay like three dollars for like a 10 pack of brushes on sheen so now i learned my lesson i stopped buying stuff like that off sheen and I go straight to Amazon and just spend a few extra bucks on like the products that I know is going to be like really, really good products. And stuff that I know is going to like last me if I'm sitting here spending my money on it. And I still have yet to find some really good nail art brushes. I just recently, it was in my Amazon haul, I purchased this pack of nail brushes. It was probably like $15, $20. Uh, Amazon I think the brand name is like Winstonia Winstonia or something like that but it has really good reviews and I heard it was a very good brand if y'all know her on YouTube which I'm pretty sure y'all do um top beauty she uses these nail art brushes and she says that they're really good um so I went ahead and I purchased them so yeah you guys and also this cleanup brush I did get this off Shein as well and the whole top of it came off so i just took some nail glue and glued that bitch right back on in because i didn't have time i did not have time so like i said only two nails was in frame so now i skipped all them steps i added my nail charm using my rhinestone glue by my cart and now i'm just gonna go with my glossy top coat by not not polish and i'm gonna top coat all these nails i'm gonna top coat it twice the reason I top coated twice is because I've had incidents in the past where I've done French tip nails, top coated once, and then it started to chip. Like, I don't know why. Like, it's like the gel, the French tip, that shit just started disappearing. <laughs> like, it started rubbing out. So now I top coated twice, and I do not have that problem anymore. Um, and I honestly recommend top coating your nails twice anyways because it just gives it that nice um, shine. So I recommend top coating it twice anyways. So after that, I am fully curing these in the lamp for 60 seconds, but I like to do it a little bit longer than that. So maybe like 90 seconds, I will keep it in the lamp just to make sure that it's nice and um, dry. And this is a no wipe top coat, so you don't, do not have to go in with like alcohol pad or nothing and wipe these nails after you're done curing it. Um, after I cured all of these nails and I applied my two top coats, I do go in again with my hand file and I sh just quickly, like I don't do no heavy shaping, I just swipe it along the nails, the sides of the nails, maybe twice, and then I flip her hands around and I file the fridge of the nail because when I do French, I don't like to have the color on the tips of the nails, like, I don't know how to explain it, but you guys are going to see what I'm, what I'm talking about when I get to that step. And I just do that and it just makes the nails look so crisp. Especially y'all know when y'all do top coat and stuff like that. Sometimes the gel polish can run. Even if you do wipe the side, sometimes the shape kind of messes up. So I like to do this Um, when I do nails now. As you come up on the bed before you fall, you know your head big is going to weigh you down. Um, Y'all, I'm not mean to my kids. I just be messing with them. Um, so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and y'all this is the end of this video i'm really hope y'all like this long ass video and y'all enjoyed me talking so much this is the most i've talked literally all week like i'm not even lying to y'all but this is the end of the video y'all after i upload this to youtube i'm gonna try to edit another video by this weekend to have another video out to you guys um i'm getting a little better with my uploading i i feel like i'm uploading more than i was maybe like a month ago um but yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's long but y'all like the long videos and it's a hassle okay on mine because it takes so long to upload to youtube but i'm gonna go to sleep anyway so it should be up by the time i wake up um 
but yeah you guys i will see y'all in my next video and i hope everyone stay blessed stay safe don't forget to pray okay y'all do not forget to pray um oh i'm also gonna add some cuticle oil and i'm gonna snap 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 take some pictures and <laughs> I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I will greatly appreciate it. Bye, y'all. Y'all ain't my name. Y'all see? She done took the goddamn pen and wrote all over her skin. Okay, I keep saying bye and I'm still here talking. Bye, y'all.